name is Natalia and I'm coming to you from Denmark and this is my knitting podcast. Yeah, lately I'm always starting podcasting with excuses why I wasn't here for a week or two and this time is the same. So normally I'm trying to record each week but um, that didn't work out. Um, I like to record on Fridays and then I'm putting that together at the same day and posting it but uh, now I'm working on Fridays also so it's not really a possibility and when I'm coming home after talk all day um, I don't really have how to tell this right um, I just don't feel up for recording a video again and I don't want to make this just like push through because I don't feel that will be nice for me or for yours but I'm here now I will try to record it's the Friday before Easter so I have a couple of free days um, and I decide to sit down and record and tell you through all about all what I was knitting this time. It is not a lot but uh, yeah. Um, let's start first with knitting and then more about my everyday life and how is my family and all this. Uh, if you're new to this channel I was telling that before that um, I'm Ukrainian, I'm living in Denmark already more than six years, but my family is in Ukraine. They're still staying in Ukraine. They are kind of like, okay, as much as you can be in a country where it's war going on. But all about my family later, later just in front, I want to tell thank for all for your comments, for your messages, for buying me a coffee or buying my patterns. I'm really grateful for all that support what me and my family getting through this time. Thank you. But let's start with the knitting and yeah, I'm always taking this podcast like a, some um, breeze of pass more normal life um, for myself. So let's talk about knitting like life is normal. Um, yes, last time I was telling you about my plans to knit some dishcloths for my friends who are renovating kitchen. I knit them and I already give them away. So I will put um, slide some pictures how they looked i really like how that turned out i was using um, cotton yarn i don't have any of that left but i was using some cotton yarn what had like a pattern yeah and some um, just with one color solid um, and i made in total five dish clothes uh, four big size and one I marled all leftovers and make one a little smaller um, dishcloths. They are quite big. I don't know measurement right now, but I think they are almost like that size. I make the pattern and I publish that for free on a Ravelry. Um, yeah, so you can um, download this and knit this for yourself. The pattern calls for um, 2.5 millimeter needles I use and just simple cotton yarn like this one. It's had um, what 170 meters in a 50 gram. Another yarn what I used was 175 meters in a 50 gram. So I believe it's more like sport um, weight yarn, but I believe you can use any yarn any cotton yarn for this dishcloth just like look how would you like the gauge if dishcloth it's not something what i 
myself will go particularly about size how they should be it just how you like it some people like it big some smaller yeah so um, I make all these dish glasses with pictures you saw um, I make eye cord edging all over so I start with um, making eye cord cast on then was knitting and at the same time while I was knitting I was making I cord edge on the both side and then I made I cord vinyl. Um, I made the links from the pattern there is a link to the videos what I make how I make I cord cast on this I cord edging and I cord vinyl. You can also look for them on the, uh, just my channel. Uh, yeah, I try my best to explain how I make this. And I will probably make more of them. I give them all the way to my friends, but I really like them. So I probably will make uh, some of them to my, for myself. Yeah, I have still plenty of um, cotton yarn in my stash and I'm really um, rarely knit with that. So I will probably start doing that. Um, I believe for myself, as I told before, just cast on was um, hard to make, but I actually think um, I will try maybe just cast on regularly and then make a bind off to that just to like match the look, but it will be more ends to wool in and I don't like to wool cotton ends because they don't really stick inside at least for me but yeah as i done before pattern is on Ravelry um, links to videos how i make eye cord cast on edge and vinyl is on my channel and if you like to support me there is also link on the Ravelry to my um, coffee profile where you can donate some money to support my work yeah that's first finished object i made five of them but uh, i don't know if we can count each like a finished object technically yeah but yeah let's move to the next finished object and i have one more finished object so last time i was showing you this sock like a finished object and was telling you that i have idea to make um, like a small mini collection where you use um, when you have two random 50 gram of sock yarn and you want to make socks so my idea was to make shorter socks in one color and then do another color another pattern uh, top and so that will look maybe I don't know like if you have two different socks together um because this one have some bind off and ribbon and this one I decided this will be a funny way to knit the socks and make some pairs from the sock yarn what may maybe will be just lying around so that was first sock and then I started second sock and that was these shorty socks what i make from a yarn would i dye myself but i was i was missing the color to match um like to make top for this sock and i'm really grateful to valoria that actually bought yarn for me and sent uh, that was a big surprise for me first she texted me like that she have a yarn in a stash would will match color um yeah we was discussing the shipping because i thought it will be really expensive to ship this but she thought that she won't make this so i agree on that and then lately she just messaged me that i probably will need to pay uh, taxes for the shipping because it's not for the shipping for receiving the yarn and then she just ordered a yarn for me i was really surprised <laughs> but uh, that made me actually really really happy I received the yarn. I will probably put the video how the yarn looked. So she basically bought for me um, 
two skin of yarn uh, it was blue and yellow like ukrainian flag and that i was so happy that day that was really really nice present thank you again valeria and um, so i put a blue yarn to this um, top of this sock and it looks like that i believe the color match really nice together and i finished two of them it's have different pattern on top it's have like a slip stitch some islands it's hard to see yeah slip stitch some islands and then um, pearl but this sock actually made it's not that much pearls because it's made in reverse stocking and stitch so basically when while i was knitting this i was knitting this this way so i was knitting slipping some stitches and making some islands and then in the end i turned that around and i had this slip stitch pattern islands pattern and this pearl stitches and then i pick up differently for these socks to achieve that i will knit kind of like inside but i believe before publishing these patterns i gonna also record the video how i was picking up the stitches inside the sock because basically for this pattern i'm first knitting one sock spiding off and then inside i'm picking up stitches for this top part of the socks so that was that's this sock is my second finished object they are not blocked or not woven the end yet and i wrote the pattern for this one already but don't wrote for this yet but basically because it will go like collection i will be just writing i will write one full pattern and then another will be just variation of the top part so i wrote all notes down i just need to put this write this and then uh, make the video about how i was picking up for the second part i think now you can see the pattern nicely yeah and the pattern will be like normal will have three sizes with 56 64 and 72 stitches yes so that's my second finished object and i still have a lot of this oh i put inside a little ball what i have left over of uh, Par first part of a sock and i had less than 50 gram here so i still have a little left so that's good sign and um, this is how much i still have of the second um ball of yarn this would valoria um give me like a present um i think i'm gonna do something with this i just not sure what but i really like the color so that's gonna become something i don't know what yet and yes as i told before this that was my all finished object no finished object no more finished object this week more but i have a couple of work in progress more so um second the yarn in that present from Valoria what I got was yellow yarn gonna show you it's look like that so they was like that two together like that <laughs> really nice colors um yeah so I had a plan for one more sock for that uh, collection and I had also less than 50 gram yarn of yarn what i dyed myself it's also like self striving yarn so i knitted the socks using this yarn these two yarns so this two yarns to make the sock like that it's the bottom part and i make this texture pattern on top yeah i think you can you can nicely see the pattern height look and it's also 
quite simple pattern it just twisted stitches and yarn overs purl twist stitch knitted uh, stitch knit through the back loop purl and yarn overs yeah really nicely pattern i think that's yellow actually also nicely match this one so um again i put notes about this this again will be three sizes so these three socks i can try to show you they're gonna become a collection and probably uh, probably next time when i gonna record the video i will put this like release this pattern for this collection of socks where you can use random skins of the 50 gram yarn what you have in your stash to create some fun socks and um, yes since they are really fun first uh, if no one don't see if you are wearing i don't know let's down pants then no one don't see the top part and see just bottom part but then all the way around if you wear in the boots and then some skirt or something like this that people gonna see just top part or you can actually mm, i don't know be courage enough and like show the two parts yeah i think it's gonna be fun so i make just one for now sock because after i knitted this one i knew that they have plenty yarn and i shouldn't be worrying because uh, while i was making these blue socks i didn't knew if i will have enough yarn so i was knitting them two at a time but i knit this one the same way as this and uh, that's the same yarn base just different color so after i knew all my measurements how many rows i need to knit so i was um sure that i easily can make just one sock and then make second later so yeah if you want to knit some of them message me um, but i'm planning that maybe to the next time when i'm gonna record um i will try to publish them so that's my first work in progress um oh before i make this top of part i gonna also insert the picture and write what was my first idea um which didn't work out i knit uh, the top okay I, uh, I hope i insert the picture that you can see i knit the top and then i wasn't sure about look and so yeah i talked with my husband and daughter and they both are like mm, it's okay it's like and not the worst pair of socks would we see but it's maybe not that cool so i kind of like thought about that what i can change this to and then kind of like sleep on that get up in the morning trip that top part and knit this one instead and I'm more happy with result now. Yes, so that was my first work in progress and I have two more. My second work in progress is the muscle work hat. Um, I'm making the size where you have 136 stitches in the round. So I believe already know um, how it's pattern knitted you cast on some amount of stitches then you increasing um, to the amount of stitches what you want to get to in my point it's like this my first marker is showing end of my increasing and then from there you knit straight to achieve lengths that the head will be like folded on itself gonna go like double and um, yeah and i'm making this in this screaming neon color i guess camera don't even show you how screaming it is and um, and it's for my son my my son had 
um, like screaming Neoni head. I'm looking there because we have pictures there and one of the pictures is him wearing this hat and it was his favorite hat um, he was going with this all over and it was like that hat was could go wash and then was needed to go straight away to him no matter how many hats and which hats he had also they never was good enough for him so and that hat was bought um i bought that in a thrift shop yeah thrift shop yeah uh, and it was really cheap like five kronas so it's like less than a dollar it was new but like yay so someone bought it didn't want this we got this and he was wearing this i don't want to lie but kind of like a year and it was like cheap acrylic uh, yarn yeah but he really loved this point is he lost that hat um they was playing in school with boys he was telling someone throw this somewhere they was looking after this they never found this and there was like big but he was trying to still find this and then literally he realized there's no he will don't find this so uh, we went to the shop and i tell he can choose any hat what he just want but any hat wasn't good enough as that so he asked if i can knit for him hat like that and this is the closest color what I found to that, it's more greenish as that one. That was, was more yellowish green as this, but he liked this color also. And I'm on a mission now to knit this hat. I think it was similar to this um, hat. It just was right away double and folded and it was knitted probably on a tighter ga gauge as this one because it was machine knitted, probably from thinner yarn, but I do my best. I'm using two millimeter needles and these stitches, uh, stitch markers are hanging here just to help me with the progress because when you are making 136 stitches in the row in a magic loop on two millimeter needles, it feels like forever and feels like I was doing so much and didn't make any. And this is already second ball. It was 50 gram balls. And this is already second ball what I attached to this. <laughs> and I didn't use that yarn before. I believe it's called it yarn wool. Yarn wool. I will put the link to my project page as before. Yeah, now almost in the end. All projects are listed down below so you can see the more notes about what I'm telling. This is sock yarn. I believe it's 70%, 75% wool and 25% nylon. And this yarn have actually this uh, thread inside what I believe you add in when you knit heel. But I don't gonna use this in the hat because it's not needed. But I actually think it will be really fun to add this to some um, solid yarn to add something funny to heels and toes possibly. I'm probably gonna do this one day. Um, yeah, so that's my progress. I believe I need to make uh, around the same, around this amount more and then start to make um, decreases. And yeah, so hopefully to the next time I will finish this. The weather is warming up, so I don't believe he will be wearing this this year, but he really wanted it. And I want to make something for him to make him happy. <laughs> so that's a muscle work hat. And last, a work in progress it's a crochet blanket i pick it up um, i don't remember where i was last time when i was showing you i found some uh, stitch marker but i don't know if that i was that time uh, if i show the blanket after this so stitch marker is here 
the blanket look I, the blanket look like this now maybe we'll try to fold this a little to show it better It look like that now. It will be a blanket for my daughter. I make one um, crochet blanket for my son. It was granny stripe blanket, but this one is more like chevron um, blanket. And I use different colors. She pick up colors for herself. It was like a grayish, brownish, pinkish colors. So I'm adding them together. And I believe for my son, I was doing two rows of a color but this time I'm using just uh, one row of a color sometimes I actually have less so sometimes I'm putting like two colors in a row cannot find your example right now but um, yeah sometimes I'm adding two colors if they are too short but um, it's kind of like easy but the progress is kind of like small it should be also like on a I believe it's queen size bed um, so it's quite a big project um, yeah and it's not I, I should remember where to because it's chevron it's a little more complicated as the just granny stripe because I should see where is pick of this chevron and where is like this bottom part to see why I'm adding extra couple of stitches and where is no it's really hard for me to explain about crocheting because I'm not uh, that big a crocheter I know how to make this and I make like blanket and I believe basket and that was probably all what I ever made recording when all the family is home it's kind of like challenge but we're gonna try sorry for background noises um yeah as i told before my family is still in ukraine they don't want to go um they also live in the western part of ukraine theoretically it's more safe now but I don't know if someone can feel safe in a country where is war going on. Um, yeah, technically city wasn't like heavily bombed. Um, there was bombed some um, army object like 20 kilometers from city and people died there. But the object what was bombed in a city, it wasn't, um, um, how you call this, civilian object? No, it was civilian objects, but it wasn't, people wasn't there. And it was more like um, two of them was factory and one was fuel storage. So people didn't die there, but... Um, if they can bomb that areas, then um, who knows if they will don't start bombing just areas where people live. So my parents still, they stay in there and it's their choice. I cannot change that. Um, yeah, now my mother um, is with the workers, uh, they are sewing armor. Um, yeah, but that is their new reality from um, sewing um, designer clothes, dresses for women, they are sewing armor now. Yes. New life. Um, as I told before, I'm working now as a translator and I'm working five days a week now. 
So sometimes after work, I'm really tired or exhausted. It can sound strange because I don't do any physical work. I'm just talk or write or something like that. But it actually takes a lot of power to pull through this. Um, but I'm happy that I can help at least in this way, in this situation. Um, yeah, it helped me to don't feel like useless in the situation when where I'm far from home, my country is in war, but I feel like with this work what I'm doing now, I can help um, some people. Yeah, that's all. Um, as I was telling before, all money what I'm raising from uh, coffee and from selling my patterns and selling my yarn on Etsy, going to help my family um, back in Ukraine. So if you want to buy some of my pattern, feel free. If you want to buy me a coffee also, if there is some yarn, what maybe previously I was showing on the podcast, what I was dying, but it's not on a on sale anymore just tell me and i will try to dye that one for you i don't have a lot of yarn dyed yet um i probably gonna do this after this easter holidays probably will order more yarn to dye um yeah and it's kind of like all um i'm really grateful for all support what i'm getting from you for all pattern buy, that for all for you buying the patterns, buying the coffee, for all messages. Um, I feel really big support and I'm really grateful for all of that. Yeah. It's really hard to talk about things like this. And um I thought maybe after some time it will be easier to talk about this, but it's not going to be easier. Um, this week it's Easter here in Denmark, in Ukraine, and people mostly celebrate Easter. This year it's a week later, but I normally celebrate this twice. Um, to kind of like be, keep up with my own uh, traditions and kind of like feel that I have um, holidays at the same time as my parents, but also full of traditions in the country where I live and my husband. So normally I'm having Easter twice. This year it will be strange because I have no idea how my parents are gonna celebrate Easter and I have no chance to go to them. Technically, yeah, I can just pack and go, no one gonna stop me. But I know that it's not safe and I have responsibilities. I have kids. So that's nothing what I probably gonna do. But I really miss my parents and will try to go to them as fast as is possible when all that gonna stop yeah um thank you all for watching sorry if it's again went to dark side but i try thank you see you next time bye